Hello, Diana Teeters here. I'm in Pinnacle Studio Plus 12, and I'm going to show you how to use a digital hotcakes transition or wipe. So first things first, make sure that you have some digital hotcakes copied to your hard drive. In this case, we're going to use some clips off a of Home Movie Essentials 4 Bundle of Joy. Now I've already copied the clips that I need. And remember, when you're using Pinnacle Studio 12, you only want to use our AVI files and the folders are marked on our products indicating which are AVIs. Okay, let's go on into the Home Movie Essentials 4 folder that I have copied. And we're going to bring down a couple of clips in, uh, that we're going to ha have a transition between. In this case, Rubber Ducky. I'm going to drag that down into the movie track. And the Clapping Bear. I'm going to drag it right next to it. Now, I'm going to use the Rubber Ducky Wipe. And, and you need to make sure you use the one that that has got the green background in this case. It's called Rubber Ducky Wipe Green. So let's select that clip and drag it between the two clips into the, into the overlay track. Now we do need to apply the chroma key effect. So let's make sure this, this track is selected by just clicking on it. Let's go up to the toolbox and add video overlay effects. Click on the chroma key tab. We are going to use a green screen key preset. And in order to, to uh, make this effect work, you have to click that box there. And let's go ahead and move ahead by left dragging on the scrubber bar. I call it the scrubber bar. OK, well, let's take a look at here. You can see some black bleeding through. And if you look in the preview, you see that the duck has got some spots in it. And the reason for this is that yellow, if you see the color wheel he here, yellow is right next to green and you can see that it's actually including some of that yellow. and We do not want that. So in order to correct that, it's simply by decreasing the tolerance. Let's so you left drag on this and you can see the colors in the color wheel getting smaller. And you can also see the black disappearing here and where the duck is appearing here. Let's go ahead and, and soften these edges too by increasing the softness. Okay, and we can close that now. Now the next little trick to getting this to work is we need to make sure that the duck is lined up where it's filling up the screen just between the two clips. Now let's look and see how close we have it. And you can see that we we don't have the duck in the right position. It needs actually to be moved to the left. So I'm going to drag on this clip. And if you don't have it zoomed in close enough, you can click down here on the zoom in tool, the magnifying glass with the plus sign, and just click that a few times. And that gives you a little more control over this particular area. So let's left drag and move that duck down. And we'll need to come back and scrub across. And looks like we still don't quite have it. So let's drag it down to the left some more. And there we go. So you see that the duck is completely filling the screen just as the two clips go. Let's go ahead and play this so you can see how it looks. And there's Teddy Bear clapping. That's it for this tutorial. I appreciate you watching. Stay tuned for more.